forever and always. And welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, I am the gatekeeper of this internet ministry known on YouTube as the mighty, 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 uh, Angel Snub Number no. 7, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. Oh, man. Woo! It's been a long time since I've made a video. I almost forget how to do it. And I become a little rough around the edges. So please bear with me as I try to make it through this little 10 to 15 minutes of a video. Now, the first thing I would like to speak about, I would like to welcome back student and minister Andre Edmund 69. Thank you, brother, for contacting me. Thank you, brother, for being steadfast and a soldier in what truly is the real solution to the problem of the so-called Negro, bringing him back to reality, the real solution to the problems of this world that has, be, that has become entrenched or entrenched. Is that a word? Am I saying it right? Y'all have to excuse me. I'm, I'm really out of it, but I'm just trying to make a video. But uh, this world that has become enveloped by deceit, enveloped by injustice, enveloped by lies, enveloped by fiction, and so many things. I am so happy that you have become steadfast and still have the heart and you still have the love of this ministry. I would hope if it is the will of that which brought us into existence, I would hope that as time moves forward, that we are used in order to bring something positive to the struggle of humanity that needs to break the grip of this evil that makes all of us, regardless to race or color or gender, that makes all of us slaves, that makes living a pure hell. And we should be sick of living in hell. That is why the church, that is why Christian people, they cannot let go of Jesus because Jesus gives them that hope and they have the faith that they come up out of hell and finally reach heaven. And I want to tell my Christian brothers and sisters and all those who believe in a God that wants the best for humanity, I also would like to experience finally a little bit before I leave this world, that which we call heaven, experience a little bit of what we call peace, if that's possible. So welcome back, Andre Edmund 69. Brother Andre, let me give you a well round of applause. Come on, everybody. Here, yeah, Brother Andre. A well round of applause because I would hope that Brother Andre will uplift his voice while mine is silent for the time being. But also at the same time, I want to remind the listening audience that I'm not your entertainer. But for those who have not heard real truth, for those who don't know, those who are still lost, 
I must continue to talk, not for your entertainment, but for the awakening of those who don't know. Because at one time, I did not know. And if those who knew decided to shut up and become silent, then I would be lost. I would be deaf, dumb, and blind like the majority of the people of this planet. But I am different. And many of you are different because you have become awakened. You were once dead, but a power come unto you. Regardless if that power was that of Jesus or Muhammad, whatever that power was, something came to you to awaken you out of this sleep. So you can't look at Fox News the same way. You can't look at the words of the president the same way. You, Your mind is full of questions. You will never be the same again. And you wish not only for yourself, but you wish for humanity to come up out of this slave-like condition. All of humanity. Because we all are slaves in this capitalistic, this westernized society that we live in. We are all some type of slave at the mercy of those who control the money, at the mercy of those who control the religion, of those who control the politics. If you are not at the helm of the horse, if you're not behind the reins, then you must be the horse. And that is why the voices of the black man and woman, they fear our voices because we are the ultimate slave. And if we can become free, then it'll be easy for the rest of humanity to become free. Welcome back, Brother Andre 69. I would like to thank my audience, my friends and subscribers for supporting my channel on Daily Motion. It is wonderful that you are visiting. It is wonderful that you are coming. And Daily Motion is a place where a black person or anyone can speak without being harassed, without being uh, discriminated against. So far, my stay on Daily Motion is wonderful. It is growing steadily every day. I will place this video and all videos on Daily Motion. So when the silly, faceless trolls flag a video, then you just go to Daily Motion or you can go to Vimeo. But right now, I'm concentrating on my Daily Motion channel. You will find. That And I will eventually place the video back on YouTube because these suckers can't keep me from talking on YouTube. YouTube is free. Email is free. I want to say this to you before I close. We need a black YouTube. Brothers and sisters and those who want to hear real truth without being harassed by silly people who don't know nothing. I sent a certified letter to YouTube asking about the flagging of my channels. And they eventually told me that the termination of my channel is, is uh, valid because I violated the terms of use. But when I asked them, how did it show me? Now, this is what they told me, that they review videos 24 hours a day. And they determined that I, or the video, 
violated terms of service. So I asked them in email correspondence, I asked them, what did I say? What did I do? They couldn't tell me. How did I violate it? What did I, what did I say? What was done? No response. You two are liars. They are liars. Now, it is possible to review a video and determine that it is, that it is in violation. But I really doubt that they watch my videos. Because if you watch the video, if you determine that it violated your terms of service, then what did I say? Prove that you watched it. Prove that you did. No, the only thing you did was act upon false flagging and you took down my channel because you saw that it was a black channel and you want to justify taking down black people's channel. Not Uncle Tom channels, not dark European channels, but those black people who think for themselves. Those who are outside of the norm. Those who expose you, who are the devil that you truly are. But you cannot silence me because I will always come back under different names, under different you. The only way you can stop me is that you stop all new channels being formed. So I will talk. But really, I don't want to talk on your nasty uh, YouTube Racist garbage media. I am perfectly fine on daily motion. Perfectly fine. You never did review my videos. You are a liar and you're a deceiver. And that is why Elijah Muhammad, that is why people call the white man the devil. You are a deceiver. You are a liar. I sent them a certified letter with proof to show that my channels are being false flagged with the false flaggers bragging about what they're doing. That was totally ignored. Further proof that YouTube is racist. Further proof that the black man and woman, those of us who are the descendants of slaves, you cannot get Express yourself on YouTube unless you water yourself down and many of y'all cowards. I remember how you used to speak. Many of you have toned down your rhetoric. So you two, these false flaggers, these children, don't terminate your channel. Y'all some pitiful. Oh, wow. We need a black YouTube so that we can speak. Why YouTube don't want black people to speak? Because they don't want to hear the truth about America. They don't want to hear the truth about what really is going on. They want black people slaves in the mind. They want white people slaves in the mind. They want to keep this foolishness and silliness going on. They don't want an honest, open voice. Because an open and honest voice will open the minds of the people to see and accept their reality. And reality will put all these bums out of business. Including the devils behind YouTube. Thank you for listening. I just wanted to get that off my chest. This is your brother Talik Even Raw. And uh, keep coming to Daily Motion. All black channels should come to Daily Motion. To hell with you two racist devils. To hell with them. Come on and make Daily Motion our home. If you two don't want us, somebody will. Until we make our own form of YouTube. Thank you for listening. And I'm Audi 5000. Peace and respect you.